What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. We have finally arrived at Act 3 of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Zombies and we're looking at the Tier 1 mission, the only one in Tier 1 today. This one's called Two-Factor Authentication. Let's go. Don't let the fact that this is a four-parter scare you. This mission revolves around one thing and one thing only and that is the Defend Ground Station contract, which is one of the contracts that's available to you when you deploy onto the map. Now, in the first step, we have to successfully the, you know, complete one of these contracts. So I think that's pretty self-explanatory. In the second step, we have to kill 20 mercenaries while we are doing this contract. In the third step, we have to maintain the computer's health above 60%. And in the fourth step, once you do all of these things, you will find the death perception recipe in the reward orb for this mission, which you will then need to successfully extract. So first things first, what exactly is a defense station contract? If you go over to the contract phone and pick it up, it will reveal the location of three seismic tubes to you, which you need to go up to and essentially press the prompt and collect the data before moving on to the next tube. Now, while you do this, it will spawn some zombies. You don't need to fight these fucking guys, so you can just activate the tube and then move on to the next one. Now, once you've done the third one, it will open up a location for you, which is essentially a computer. This is the computer that is mentioned in the third step of this mission. Now you go up to this computer and upload the data that you've just gotten from those three tubes. And then it's going to start processing that data. And during this time, you have to defend this computer from repeating waves of mercenaries attacking you. Now, this is the most important part of the mission and also the most difficult. The reason for this is that the enemies that attack you are some of the more irritating ones that you get on the mercenary side and that is of course the uh, recon guys which are the fast running melee guys which can be really really tough if two or three of them charge you down uh they can drop you almost instantly with a bunch of melee hits to the back of the you know chest and then you also fight the shield guys and they can also be quite tough because they distract you long enough so that the fucking recon guys jump down your throat the other thing that you also have to bear in mind is that in terms of priority, the mercenaries are going to prioritize the computer. So if you are, let's say, too far away from the computer, the mercenaries aren't going to give a shit about you and they're going to make a straight beeline for this computer and start shooting it, throwing it with grenades and fucking it up. Now, you have to keep this computer above 60% and that is quite difficult i'm not gonna lie but there are a couple of things that you can do to increase your chances of success any mines or anything like that that you can place at the foot of the computer can help you deal with any enemies that can come close by it the energy mine can absolutely also help you here by essentially dropping it near this computer the enemies the mercenaries will generally walk right up to the computer and then start shooting it unless they go behind cover and take pot shots at it you should try to keep yourself super super mobile and basically kill these waves as they come in generally the ai is going to be coming from one direction at a time right up until the end right before you finish the mission you might get pushed from two different directions oftentimes you can see the direction that the enemies are coming from by just listening for the smoke and essentially covering that vector uh, some of these these uh, defend ground station missions are easier than others because some of them are indoors and some of them are outdoors the indoors ones tend to be easier because you can more easily funnel the enemies in the direction that you want them to come from to be able to kill them in the case of the example that you're seeing in the background here right now this was inside a warehouse and there really was only two ways for them to get in so there was a door to the north of the the the, the terminal and one to the south and i could basically just gatekeep those two and essentially control it nonetheless as you can see in the footage in the background it is still super tough and keeping this computer above 60 percent can take a little bit of practice so don't be afraid to fail this maybe once or twice as you get into the rhythm of it but as a, a combination of trapping the computer and essentially controlling access to how they get close to the computer you should be able to knock this out relatively easily then once you've done all three of these steps so you've killed your 20 mercenaries which again shouldn't be a problem there's more than fucking 20 guys that come for you and as you maintain the, the health above 60 inside the reward orb you will have the death perception recipe which you should then grab and then exfiltrate once you have all four of these steps done that's the mission done that also means the video is done thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far let me know how you are progressing are you also in act three and are you rushing to get this done before we see what season one in uh, call of duty modern warfare 3 zombies brings us other than that it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the world till next video
fucking cheers.